This is Terminal 46 at the Port of Seattle. A few months ago, there was nothing here. Now it's stacked high with empty containers. But a key choke point in the global supply chain isn't so much about containers. So this is really about chassis. Absolutely. This is a chassis. It's the frame and wheels that allow containers to be moved by trucks, either onto the open road or just between the docks and the trains. There's a shortage of drivers, too. John Wolf heads the Northwest Seaport Alliance, which handles cargo at the ports of Tacoma and Seattle. And then in Tacoma, we have a similar facility where the trucking community can drop that empty container, free up their chassis so they can go pick up an inbound load at the main terminal. They don't call this the supply chain for nothing. The links include containers, chassis and trucks, ships, railroads and labor. And different links in the chain have been breaking at different times for months. Nobody's at fault and every, everybody is responsible. So the system needs to work better. Louis Sola sits on the Federal Maritime Commission that helps regulate ocean shipping. He and fellow commissioner Carl Bensel are here on a mission to try and link the chain back together because the mess at West Coast ports especially has become a key driver of inflation. The shipping costs have gone up almost 10 times since the start of the pandemic. That means where it cost $2,000 to ship a container from Asia to the West Coast in 2019 now costs $20,000. We're not only seeing issues related to cost increases, especially on uh, retail items that are lower value costs, but also challenges to manufacturing that are impacting the, uh, the entire uh, nation. Now, think about how this actually backs up into manufacturing. So we've been hearing a lot about cars for months, about all those computer chips that aren't available. So we're producing fewer new cars. It drives up the price of the cars that are on lots, and that in turn is pulling up the price of used cars, which is another key inflationary factor that was cited in the October numbers. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.